If you ask HTC who pioneered this metallic with polycarbonate antenna band look, and they'll say it was them. The HTC One A9 is proof that they are not afraid to show Apple who really pushed smartphone design in that direction. And while the comments of this video will most likely say, why did they copy Apple? Perhaps they should say, why did Apple copy HTC in the first place? Let's take a quick look and mini review of HTC's latest one device, the HTC One A9, a phone that isn't afraid to show its origins. The HTC One A9 is an interesting collection of design cues, for one, yes, it does look like an iPhone 6, but it also has some slight hints of, say, the Samsung Galaxy S6 on the front, and the somewhat odd placement of the camera right dead in the middle of the phone gives the HTC One A9 a strange appearance. But it's also one that speaks of quality, but it definitely does raise some questions of design choices. People often mistake this phone for an iPhone, but HTC tries to cure that with two HTC logos, one on the back and one on the front. This is not brilliant in my opinion. Up front, the A9 features a really gorgeous 5 inch 1080p AMOLED display. All the other HTC ones have had LCD panels, so it's really nice to see an AMOLED panel join the party and they've really done a fantastic job. You can instantly tell it's an AMOLED panel by the color saturation, deep blacks, and very bright colors. Though I do feel the display is somewhat dim when compared to Samsung's finest panels. Internally, the A9 is packed with a Snapdragon 617 octa-core processor, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal storage, and thankfully HTC has a micro SD card slot right next to the nano SIM slot for expansion. Battery wise, it packs a 2150 milliamp hour battery with quick charge tube technology, and it also does support quick charge 3. Now while the battery does sound small in size, the display being AMOLED and only 5 inches of size of a 1080p resolution, it should be able to get you through an entire day, and that's been the case every day so far. Around the back, HTC has placed a 13 megapixel camera and non ultra pixel camera with OIS. It's a backside illuminated sensor too, which should provide some really good decent low light performance and from the first few photos I've taken so far, the results are really good. Software wise, the HTC One A9 is the first official non Nexus device to run Android 6.0 Marshmallow, though it's underneath the skin of HTC Sense, which hides its identity fairly well. Compared to your slew of Lollipop HTC devices from Sense, it's almost impossible to tell, but you do get the benefits of Doze and other features from Android Marshmallow. Plus, you do get something very important called Android Imprint, something HTC phones have messed around a bit in the past, but it's finally mainstream with this OnePlus 2-esque fingerprint reader, which doubles as a home pad. But overall, the experience with the HTC One A9 so far has been really good. Good. It's definitely not the fastest or most powerful device around, but it's enough to call it a high-end mid-tier smartphone, but it definitely has some stiff competition like the Moto X Pure, the newly announced OnePlus X, and a whole lot more. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of the HTC One A9. If so, hit that thumbs up button below to let me know. Also, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And as always, my name is Marco Hanna, and I'll catch you in my next video.